Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Odin Sphere. And we're here at the epilogue, the final chapter of the book. Oh, and don't worry about needing to do any last minute grinding right now or anything like that. Because uh, you'll be able to actually replay these books at any time, so. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about that. Ever since then, you're not going to be screwed out of like the last book where you know you might have to use every food. single character and uh, you, woke up, you know whatever your stats were, so what your stats are. No, no, you'll be able to go back and grind. But to be stolen by a Halia. Oh, so that's what that thing is called. Brahm has also been injured, and I don't know what to do. I was Brahm injured. Oh, I guess the Halia. He probably tried to stop it, and I assume the Halia kicked his ass. <laughs> I guess going worried. bombs away is not I a very effective Brahm strategy after all. Yet. Ah, yeah, that does suck. Uh, a Jupiter bank game, really game, really. I actually want a shine. Actually, I don't think I need to buy a shine here because I think the game's gonna give me one. Uh, I could be mistaken, but we definitely want to buy this Jupiter Bangle. Uh, it increases our attack power by thirty percent. Yeah, let's go ahead and use up our. Oh well, we used every aerial coin. But yeah, I want that for uh, the final boss. It'll increase our DPS. Uh, I have that variance as well that I'm going to put to use uh, during the final boss. I'm also going to go ahead and put that regeneration to use. I thought I had a regeneration. Yeah, there it is. I'll go ahead and use that during the final boss as well. Yeah. And, uh... That should do it. So yeah, let's just uh, let's just go straight for it. Now I may have to do a little bit of grinding if I don't get Gwendolyn's final spell. I believe she takes the most levels to actually get it. Unfor and unfortunately, it's also the best spell in the game. Uh, although it's not really the most useful since you get it so late. You know who cares? But it will be useful for the final boss of the book, and I would not recommend fighting the final boss of this book without. Uh, getting that spell. Yeah, every character only gets five spells. Unfortunately. Most of them learn it at, like, level 30, but I think Gwendolyn's level 33 or 35, I forget exactly. The Halia has gone to the Netherworld. Well, yeah, that's where we're going. A place the living cannot go. Tis impossible for you to rescue him. No, there's no. someone that knows how to get there. I know of one person who is able to make this possible. Who? The Demon Lord, Odin. Yeah, he did know a way to get there. Uh, he was stealing jewels, remember what Brigand said? So, yeah, he would know how to get there. So I guess we're going to have to, uh, oh boy, we're going to probably have to promise him. Well, he's going to want the ring back, that's for sure. You're looking slightly thinner. I've been waiting for you, Gwendolyn. What? <laughs> I have heard of your exploits. Assaulting the enemy with just one Well, yeah, spear. you destroyed the entire fairy army. The ring for <laughs> Something <laughs> your entire <laughs> army failed to do. What does that say about the competence the of your army, your Odin? And yourself, for that matter. You are the most wonderful daughter in the cosmos. You are as precious as that Oh, ring. bullshit! No. Present your king with the treasures you, of victory. He's totally bullshitting and manipulating her. This ring represents a bond with someone special. I cannot let it go. But at the same time, the he does seem I to have to some today. genuine amount of care he's for her. He's kind of a complicated character. He's pretty interesting. What foolishness is this? Give me the but ring. But yeah. He's you still trying to manipulate her, her, I think. Since you travel there to That's my interpretation crystals. here, anyway. But, meh. Will you please hear my request? Please, father. A daughter that has been banished wishes to make a deal with her father, the king of the well, nation. Yeah. Uh What choice do you have, dude? Ah, very well. In exchange for the ring, I shall escort you to the Netherworld's border. Father. 
father. No. Hand me the ring. No. Not until I make it back from the Netherworld. Well, yeah. Gotta save Odin first. Uh, Odin Oswald. And welcome to the Netherworld. With a bunch of undead enemies. That hopefully I can do better against this time. But we shall see, I suppose. Also, the Netherworld takes forever to load. Load faster, Odin Sphere. Faster. There we go. Okay. So, you see these guys with the torches here? Yeah, they're going to be important because, uh,. A lot of enemies are pretty much invincible until you uh, get them near the torches. These guys, not so much, but yeah. Let's just dodge that. I do forget how to fight these guys. Ah! Uh, I think it's just a matter of getting behind them and then hitting them with a couple of attacks. Yeah, that seems to work pretty well. Yeah, just get behind him, hit him with some attacks. <laughs> yeah, it works especially well if you can jump over that little gooey blast. Yeah, perfect timing there, like I just did, but... They're not really that strong anyway, so I wouldn't worry about them too much. Um, it's I wouldn't recommend attacking them from the front, because they have uh, a lot of nasty uh, ways of hitting you. Um, their attacks are very unorthodox. Uh, like, they'll attack the ground, and all of a sudden it'll pop up and hit you. So if you're not expecting that, that can uh, definitely hit do some damage to you. I'm not going to equip the Jupiter Bangle yet because I want to get the uh, the last level there. But I will equip it at some point. Now we picked up a shine there. Or not shine, but... A shine uh, alchemy mix. And this is the only place this is actually used in. And... Uh, we want to make one right away. It's, uh, it, it basically is the gimmick of, uh, the Netherworld. There's areas that are in pitch blackness, uh, with no map either. And they're basically impossible to get through without a shine, because you're just gonna take too much damage. Unless you have a bunch of healing items and spam the crap out of them, you're just, you're not gonna be able to, to win the stage. Yeah, you see? But if you use a shine... It'll light up the area there, and, uh, yeah, I had to, uh, edit out a train sound there. But yeah, see these guys, these little dog things? They die really easily, but they're only susceptible to damage by these guys with the torches, so stick by them. Uh, also, they can go in the ground, so just watch your map, uh, and make sure you back up enough so that they come at an angle where you can actually hit them. These tentacles, easy enough. They get, you get close to them and they come up, but one hit, again, takes them out, no problem. Yeah, a lot of the Netherworld enemies are really easy like that. It's really the floating guys and the skeleton guys that are that I already killed that are the only remotely ch challenging enemies here. It's an easy S rank. And another nice thing is you get a lot of rotten food here, which uh, is useful for making health tonics. But again, this is not a replayable area, so you can't really abuse that, unfortunately. But I would like to make one more health tonic, just to be safe. Although... I may not actually need to. Nah, I don't need to. Um, I don't have anything to make it with anyway. If I don't get enough experience, uh, what I'll do is I'll hit retry, and uh, it'll uh, it'll keep my uh, experience and levels that I have, and I'll just redo the stage off screen. 
Which I recommend doing if you don't get I enough have levels. Poison if you want. Yeah, this guy's a Unfortunately, shopkeeper. Unfortunately, I do not have a blade to coat with it. Okay, I don't really want to buy things from you. You can uh buy that if you want. Oh god, it's so useless. I want to get a material. I need to uh, make another shine because I'll definitely need one. So let's get a cup vein. Uh, cup veins are very easy to find here, so I have no qualms about using them. Although I can't seem to find a cup vein in my inventory because I don't have one. One of those days. I think once you clear a stage, it won't be shrouded in darkness anymore. Though I could be uh, misremembering. Oh god, it's a boss. Well, I guess I, uh, I got time for this. Uh, if I can find the shine. Yeah, you absolutely want to do that for the for the mini boss for the mini bosses here. Go with Overlord. Absolutely want to go with Overlord. Ah, uh, the Halya. Really just a matter of, uh, getting behind him and attacking. He'll, uh, do some teleports. Let's... When actually, when he, right when he shows up is a good time to hit him. Just jump over that. Sometimes he'll turn into a bird, and, uh, yeah, you never want to attack him from the front, or that'll happen to you. Those guys, again, um, you just... Get them near. You get them near a uh, flame, and they'll turn into that form. Or you can absorb ciphers near them. When he does that little thing where he like transforms like that, great time to hit him because he uh, is just dicking around. I don't know what he's actually doing there. Ow! Yeah, they can poison you. Yeah, his uh, attacks are kind of like 360 degrees, so you do want to stay a little bit back when he's attacking. Oh boy! Forgot about that attack. But you can just jump over that without a problem, really. He telegraphs all of his attacks pretty nicely, so just jump over that one. Oh god, the slowdown is unplayable right now. This is the only area in the game that does this. I don't know why. It really irritates me, though, because it, it literally is almost unplayable at times. From what I understand, the PAL version fixed this. I think I should just let him kill me at this point, because, yeah. I got really cheesed there by that stupid enemy. I can't play with the slowdown, so... If that happens again, I'm just gonna have to mash my way through it. Uh, you see, the thing with slowdown in this game... Is it throws off your timing. And... Even though you have more time to think... Your button inputs become incredibly delayed. So, even though you're thinking faster, your button inputs are reacting slower, so it really doesn't matter. Um, really, all you can do in that situation is just mash the crap out of the square button. And hope that you kill the enemy before it kills you. It's unfortunate, but unfortunately that's the way it is. Uh, yeah, he transformed into that thing. Right when he shows up, I would get a couple hits on him. Right after that. Yeah, see, we're getting slowed on again. This is bad. I don't know what is going on here. Yeah, this slowdown is it's unplayable, guys. Uh, I'm just going to mash my way through this guy. Hopefully, I'll be able to actually fight him legitimately later, but... Yeah, I'm spamming X, but again, my my button delays were were actually were lag there because of the slowdown. I physically was not able to jump because of the lag. 
I only hit the square button once, and then I, I jumped. But, you know, the jump didn't happen for a couple seconds after my attack finished, which is obviously a problem. I don't know why it's it's just the netherworld that does this. I don't understand. I don't know how they let this through. Like, this is unexpected. This is just ridiculous. I don't think he's doing anything there remotely interesting. Oh yeah, he's firing that attack, but who cares? Let's go ahead and heal up again. Yeah, I don't really have a choice. I have to I have to do this, guys. I can't play with the slowdown. It's it's uh, it literally is unplayable. You have to play the game to understand what I'm, what, I, what I really mean fully. He's going to do that attack. Yeah, sometimes he'll reappear and do that. That's pretty easy to avoid if there's not slowdown going everywhere. Yeah, as you can see, I'm doing terrible because of the slowdown. Uh, this is this literally is unplayable. Oh my god. Stop slowing down. Jump! God damn slow down. Alright, forget it. Overlord up, and let's just finish him off. We don't really have a choice. That's... It's still slowing down. I killed the enemy. What is going on? I'm not even going to try to avoid his attacks. There's no point. I've got to kill him. Alright, there we go. Okay, finally. I don't know what that was about, guys. I don't know what was causing that slowdown. I don't recall getting slowed down against that guy, so I don't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, see, I took a thousand points of damage because of the slowdown. And uh, I believe I really screwed myself with health tonics, yeah. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to replace those. So let's go ahead and do that. Of course it gives me that. It makes me actually want to uh, use a level 90. Do I have Shadow Ally? No, I do not. It must be level 35 then. Aha! Excellent. Let's see, can we, uh... We have a couple more seeds, excellent. Don't fuse away the Jupiter Bangle, that would be really stupid. Normally I wouldn't use a Caratier, but I have so damn many of them that I think it's okay. There we go. And we got a painkiller. Okay, so, uh... Oh. I guess I have to go to the next stage. Let's go down here, then. I do not want to fight that guy again. Oh, god, that slid on was unbearable. So next time we'll uh, we'll hopefully run into less slowdown. <laughs> oh boy, you haven't seen anything yet as far as slowdown goes. There is a part in the game that is literally unplayable. Like you can't do it legitimately. You have to mash your way through it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really unacceptable. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know how they couldn't fix this. I mean, tone down the graphics for the area if you have to. You can't have slowdown like that. It renders the game unplayable. In a game about pattern recognition, you have to have consistent timing. It's just unacceptable to let, to let that slide through the game.
And it's this entire area has issues with it. And the boss at the end... I mean, I've seen it drop down to like two frames per second. It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know how they fixed it in the PAL version, but... It's one of the major problems with the game. And it does render this area completely... Unplayable at times, but... Whatever, it is what it is, I guess. So next time, we'll continue through this area. This is Verizon signing off. Take care.